the drivers are those who have almost nothing in their workspace except maybe a picture of their children and their spouse or a family photo but it's very different the reason that they have that out there from the reason an amiable personality type would have it out there remember amiables have things out because they want to share that with you they want to share the love and the and the emotion that they have attached to those things the drivers have things out there because they want to show you that's mine you know those they drivers are very territorial they spray all over the place so they want you to know that's not for me to share the love that i have with my family with you that's so you know that's my family that's my trophy or whatever that you want to call it they tend to be very trophy achievement oriented and they're putting it out there to let you know and that's really about it or for themselves because they want to look at that and remind themselves why they're working drivers tend to come into work in three different types of cars toyotas hondas and nissans when they upgrade they don't upgrade to something like a Cadillac Escalade fancy car. They'll upgrade to things that are understated luxury status symbols. Things such as uh, a Lexus, things such as a, uh, an Audi. Uh, they love Acuras, but they like cars that are, if they're going to be a, an expensive car, they're more understated. Uh, and they're usually classy, somewhat status symbols. Drivers come into work wearing a lot of gray, black, and navy. They tend to have just a couple of pair of work shoes. Expensive, fancy name shoes, but one black pair of work shoes or boots that they use a lot, and one maybe navy pair of shoes or boots that they wear a lot. And they tend to have more of a militant style to, their, to the way that they dress, and they tend to come into work walking down the hallway with their chest forward, kind of lean forward a little bit, because their theme song is get her done, 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 get her done. And what happens is a driver and an amiable will pass one another in the hallway. And if they're not conscious of speaking one another's language, what will happen is the amiable will walk past the driver and say, good morning, driver. And that driver will go right to his or her desk because they have work to do. Drivers will think, I am not here to make friends. I'm here to get a job done. That's what they tend to think. And drivers, you know if you're a driver because they really have a problem with incompetent people. So what happens is the driver will go back to his or her desk and the amiable had said hello, but they didn't return the hello. And the driver's thinking, what's wrong with that? And the amiable is thinking, well, because I just don't know why they won't say hello to me. I, I'm gonna keep trying to say hello to that driver because I know that underneath that cold icy exterior, there's a warm heart and I'm gonna get through to it. And what the amiables need to realize is, stop saying hello to the drivers. You're never getting through to them. It's not about you, it's about them. And what the drivers need to realize is, start saying hello to the amiables. They take it personally, and they're not working as hard as they could for you and your team if you don't give them what they need. You know, we tend to see people and we think, oh, you're not getting the needs that I would want met met, and so we'll try to meet those for other people. For example, uh, I am a driver analytical type. And so what I'll do is if I work in a place where there's lots of people, you'll frequently find me eating lunch in my car because I like to take some time out, recharge my batteries. I get energy from being alone. The opposite personality types from mine get energy from being with other people. But if I need to recharge my batteries, I'll go out into my car and I'll be eating lunch alone and I'll be enjoying myself, maybe reading a book, listening to something on tape. And then the next thing you know, I'll hear this tap, tap, tap on the window. And it'll be some expressive or some amiable saying, oh, you're eating lunch all by yourself. Why don't you come on in and join us in the lunchroom? We're having a potluck today. And I'll think, oh, the reason I'm out here is because I want to eat lunch alone. Sometimes we'll see people eating lunch alone in the lunchroom and we'll say, hey, why don't you come and join us? Now, sometimes that's a great idea because we want to be friendly and maybe they don't have any friends. But if they know a lot of people and have a lot of friends yet are choosing to eat alone, Maybe we should let them eat alone because remember that many times we come into work and we'll practice what's called the golden rule. And the golden rule is to treat others how? Right, as you'd like to be treated. Don't do that. Instead, go into work and practice the platinum rule. And the platinum rule is to treat others how? As they want to be treated. And so what I want to do is study the personality types and treat you the way you want to be treated. For example, let's get to the analytics. Hey everybody, it's Dan. For more on this subject, I'm having a live webinar the last week in June 2014, so I hope to see you there. There's actually going to be two that week. The first one is 
How to Speak the Language, the Secret Language of Personality Types. So much, much more on this subject, as well as how to identify and speak the five languages of appreciation at work. It's going to rule. Again, the last week in June, it's going to be live, so you can interact with me and ask your questions and get your answers right there. So I hope to see you there. Stop by DanOConnorTraining.com for more information, and also check out our audio programs if you can't make the webinar and our video programs. Thanks, guys.